Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, back in Let's Play Animal Crossing Wild World here on the Nintendo DS. Let me check my mail. It's bright and early on a Monday morning. Let's see. John, your room gets 8,942 points. It's better, but we worry about the size. Where will you put your furniture? Uh, so I bought, like, life insurance from Lyle last episode, I believe. <clears throat> and I'm curious to see, you know, if that amounts to anything. I don't... I'm not confident that it will. Can I... I can't pick up weeds while I have a slingshot out? Oh, yeah, no, you can. Couldn't figure that out. Okay. That one weed was just really... Reluctant. Okay. So many weeds. It's a problem. Okay, well, pitfall seed right out of the gate. I was gonna say, there are two fossils buried right next to each other. Alright. Let me get my handy-dandy stylus out, because realistically, the stylus is the easiest way to do this. Um... I better still have my shovel on me. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we dug up a fossil. Fell in a pitfall seed. I feel like... I'm not gonna see a UFO until I'm not looking for a UFO. But... Does that mean I shouldn't be prepared for a UFO? Does that mean I shouldn't be running around with a slingshot out in my hand at all times? I don't know. Keeping an ear out. Uh, but first things first. You know what? Let me check. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, what is my... So I have 3,806 bells. I'm curious as to whether or not I can pay off my loan. You know what? I'm just gonna have my slingshot out. I'm gonna keep my slingshot out just in case a UFO flies by. And... I'm gonna run into a tree real quick, and then I'm gonna run up here. Run into a rock as well. It's like a weird foggy day here today in Domo Bird. It's like a hazy, hazy, hazy morning. I'm not gonna pick all the weeds. But I'll certainly pick a couple as I run by them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dr. Shrunk is here? Ah, so you finally realize that you have some issues to work out. Well, admitting you have a problem is the first step towards mental health. You may find my methods a little unorthodox at times. We'll just progress slowly. First, let's tackle the difficulty you have, er, expressing yourself. Expression is my forte, as I'm also a stand-up comic. On the side, that is. Humor can be so healing, and is often overlooked by the medical community. Yes, try this one on for size. A three-legged dog walked into a saloon, hopped up to the counter and said, I'm looking for the guy who shot my paw. Was that the whole joke? Hmm. Very interesting. Your face is expressionless, perhaps even slack-jawed. <laughs> it is because you haven't heard of me. Or is it a, a more serious problem? 
I should have said I know you. Perhaps a better question is, who are you? Who is the real you? As Dr. Shrunk, traveling therapist and part-time comedian. It's my job to help you answer these questions. What do you say? Are you interested in unearthing the real you? In delving into your subconscious and learning the art of true expression? I warn you, processing your feelings can be difficult work, but in the end, it can only lead to a happier, healthier, more expressive you. So, what do you say? Care to learn how to express yourself? Okay, okay. Splendid, splendid! More people could benefit from self-exploration than do. As I said before, you may call me Dr. Shrunk. Don't worry about being candid. All of our sessions are subject to doctor-patient confidentiality. Got it? Okie dokie. Good, your enthusiasm will serve you well in your journey to expression. As sentient beings, each of us possesses a wealth of memories and emotions. If we keep them bottled up, we will burst, like so many agitated cans of soda. And believe me, the cleanup is dreadfully messy. I cannot stress enough the importance of expressing your feelings. In these sessions, you may unearth some painful memories and emotions. But you must press on, for your own sake, for all of ours. Just follow my lead. First, I will show you the proper expression of an emotion. When you grasp the nuances of this feeling, you must tap me confidently. If some trauma from your past has made you wary of physical touch, pressing the X button has the same effect as tapping me. Okay, what's going on? Hmm, I suppose we'll have to address that issue in another session. Regardless, don't be shy. Go on, tap me. Okay. Yes, that's precisely it. You've just made a major breakthrough. And you have now learned how to express shyness. Like all expressions, you can activate this from the keyboard window. Of course, the range of human emotions is deep, and to be well-rounded, you must learn as many, as, as many expressions as you can. Okay. So we learned our first expression from Dr. Shrunk today, guys. I wasn't even totally 100% sure that he was in this game. Because in City Folk, he has his own place at the theater. The Marquee. But here, I guess he just wanders into town every so often. So let me, uh... You can kind of see it. Hold on. Sort of. Catch a glimpse of my shyness. Uh, emotion. Okay, wait, wait. Got another one right here. There's another fossil boy. So we're going to pull my slingshot back out. And we're also going to try to figure out how much money I owe. Because it's bound to be a lot. I just don't 100% remember where to pay. So let's go into Town Hall real quick. I think it's either the one of the counters... Yeah, let's check with Pelly. Yeah, okay, pay mortgage. Current bell balance is 99,000. Ah, boy. So I'll pay 3,000 of that. So then we're down to 96,000 bells, right? The remaining bell balance is 96,000 bells. Thanks for your payment. Nope. <clears throat> That's... That'll be all. Thanks, Pally. Alright, so we're broke. 
We're broke as a joke again. Let me go take these fossils down to Blathers, see if he can appraise them for me. Uh, you know what, let's... Oh yeah, they're not even open yet. What time is it, actually? Three minutes away from <clears throat> opening time. I didn't even think about how early I was actually playing this game. Let's run on into the museum. Get these fossils appraised by the Blad Man. The Blad Man. Uh, check a fossil. Hooty who? Uh, just pick your favorite, bud. Seismo hip. Boom. So it's new for the museum. Which is always like bittersweet. Because I'm like, yes, we're expanding the museum. But then at the same time, it's like, oof. Could use the money to pay off that mountain of debt. The fact that it was 99,000 bells run right on the nose, though, makes me feel like I haven't made any payments yet. Like, I feel like that might have been the first, uh... I don't need this. The stylus just yet. But it makes me feel like that was the first payment. But then again, I remember... I'm playing all five Animal Crossing games simultaneously right now. So it kind of gets blended together which ones I'm close to paying off my mortgages, which ones, you know, I'm nowhere, clo I'm nowhere close, which ones, you know, I'm making payments on, which ones I'm not really caring about. It's whatever, whatever mood strikes me at the time. Amber. It is a thing that has not yet been donated to the museum. Okay. So both of them are new fossils. And the same thing kind of goes with, uh, the museums in each game, too. Like, I don't remember how far I am with any of them. I mean, I know the fossil wings are always the first ones to be filled up. But these, these little independent stands... Are usually the first ones to fill up too. Anyway, it just struck 8 a.m. here in Dumbleburg, so let me run up to Nook's Cranny or Nook Way or Nook, whatever Nook shop I have. And it just started raining, so maybe we'll try to catch a coelacanth today. I think I actually tried in a previous episode. Nook and go. I think I actually tried in a different episode. And found out that the rules to catching coelacanth are different in previous Animal Crossing games. Like, I think from City Folk on, they're available year-round, just whenever uh, there's any kind of precipitation going on. But, I think in previous games, they were it was like hour, certain hours of the day. So let me find out right now. Let me pull up the Animal Crossing Wild World uh, fandom wiki on my phone. Uh, see, Lacanth, boom. Okay. So. Okay, there we go. Expand. So it looks like time of year is all year round. Ah, oh, wait. We have a chance. It looks like 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. in Wild World. Really? It looks like there was actually a time window in all of them. 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. So we have about an hour 
to try to catch uh, this coelacanth. I'm not saying we're going to, but for the second half of this Let's Play, we're sure going to try. And then, God forbid, we actually succeed. That's going to be even worse. Uh, because then we're going to have the struggle of whether or not um, we sell it for oodles and oodles of bells, or if we cash it in. And the answer is, no doubt, we, we you know, donate it to the museum. You have to. First one always goes to the blathers. But, there is going to be that severe internal struggle. As one has. So let's get down to the beach here, and, uh... Stylus goes away. And our fishing expedition has begun. Believe it or not, I think they actually just... I'm gonna scare away these dumb fish. Believe it or not, they actually just found a living coelacanth. It was long thought to be extinct. Uh, then I think a couple of years ago, maybe like a decade ago, maybe longer ago, I don't really know, um, some people found a dead one, indicating that they weren't extinct entirely. Uh... But they, they live at such depths uh, of the ocean that by the time you would see one, like, on a fishing boat or deep sea fishing or diving or whatever, uh, it's already, like, sick or dead or whatever. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so high up uh, in the ocean. But, I guess recently they actually caught... I don't know if they caught it, or they just saw it, or what. I'll have to read the article again. But they found a living one. Like a living... I want to say breathing. But I don't know if... Yeah, fish breathe, right? They just breathe different. They breathe like their gills or something. I don't know. <laughs> Untraditional breathing. So we're just going to catch a bunch of horse, horse mackerel. That's actually what we're going to do today. Um... Can I scare this guy away? Thank you. Ooh, here's a big guy. Kind of. Eh, it's not that big. He's not coelacanth big. He's more like sea bass big. Maybe even red snapper big. Which I wouldn't be opposed to a red snapper. Focus. I blew it. I focused too hard. You get out of here, little dumb fish. I want to know what a coelacanth shadow uh, is going to look like, though. It's going to be big, obviously. Crap, I didn't mean to pick that up. But how big in this game? Because some of these older Animal Crossing games, the shadows kind of look... You know. Similar in size. Like, that's obviously a small shadow. But grading up from, like, a small to, like, a medium shadow, the differences are very subtle at times. And then from medium to large... Ooh, this guy looks pretty big, though. Not that scrub along the river bend, though. Come on, big hoss. See, this is definitely a large shadow. If I've ever seen one. Come on, fishy. Turn around. Do the little loop-de-loop -loop thing you were just doing. Yes. We caught it. It's a sea bass. Uh, it's a red snapper, actually. 
So no harm, no foul. We caught a red snapper. But that's... So if that's the large size, presumably, right? Is the coelacanth actually going to be an extra large shadow? Or is it also going to be a large shadow? Like, this is obviously, I would say, not a coelacanth. I will say, though, we went... My wife and I actually went to the, uh... The Denver Aquarium. Obviously, in Denver, Colorado. I'm just getting this guy away. It's definitely not. Um... But yeah, we went to the Denver Aquarium recently. And I'll tell you what. I... I think I pissed her off. I was able to go into this aquarium, right? And just, I would see a fish in a tank. I'd be like, oh yeah, that's an arapaima. I don't know if that's how you, actually how you pronounce it. Uh, or like, that's a soft-shelled turtle. Yeah, I know that one. That's an arowana. And like, she'd be like, how do you know these, John? Like, why do you know names of fish? And it's all Animal Crossing. <laughs> like, I know too many different kinds of fish just because of Animal Crossing. Which, like, if anybody ever tells you that video games are not educational, I beg to differ. Because I can go into any aquarium and tell you all the tropical fish. Not, not just the tropical fish, but, like, any fish that's ever been in an Animal Crossing game, I can tell you all about it. <laughs> Ooh, here's a big guy. Now we're talking, now we're talking. Cast a line out there. You're a jerk, fish. Oh, crap. He's not gonna turn around either. Ooh, oh. Came up like an inch, an inch short. I'm gonna scoot my boot a little bit closer. Did it again. Now he's looking right at where I would have cast it the first time. What a jerk. I'm gonna blow this. I know it already. Come on, fishy. Fish. Oh. Yes. I caught it. It's a sea bass. After all of that struggle, it was a stupid sea bass. Well, at least if we fail, which we will, don't get me wrong, like, we will fail at catching the coelacanth. I'm not confident. Um, but, oh my god, that's a, that's a big guy. Oh my god. Does that look bigger to you? It looks long to me, like, very long. I'm gonna tell myself that. It wasn't long, guys. It was a sea bass. <laughs> it was the same stupid length as the last one. But anyway, um, even if we do fail, we're spawning a bunch of big ones right here, though. Even if we do fail, if and when we fail to catch the coelacanth in the end of this episode, at least we talked to Dr. Shrunk. So at least we got, we got a new emotion. We can be shy about our inability to catch a coelacanth. Where'd this fish go? It was right here. Oh, there it is over there. It's another sea bass. I'm pretty confident about that. Ooh, that was a perfect cast, though. Ooh, boy, we got a big old stanky rubber tire. 
We're eating good tonight, boys. <laughs> Gonna fry up a big old tire. Good old fashioned fish fry with a big old rubber tire. Okay. Uh, I guess coelacanth is not on the menu. <clears throat> not that anybody's ever eaten a coelacanth, though, so. You know. At least to my knowledge. Can't imagine they did. Like I said, before, like, relatively recently, like the last decade or so, um, they were considered extinct. Like, they were dinosaur fish, basically. And then we found bodies. Which is just so freaking interesting to me. I don't know about you, but, like, the fact that there are things that we thought to be ex extinct, uh, and then we just find them, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, there, there are probably plenty of them down there. They're just so deep in the ocean that we'll just never see them. I don't think I scared that fish away properly. Um, I mean, at some point we will, I guess, right? But, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's crazy to think, like, what else could be down there, you know? What other prehistoric marvels could be down in the depths of ocean hell? <laughs> Alright, that's a mediocre-sized fishy. So we're going to go around, and we are going to... How much pocket space do we have left? Whoops. <sighs> we have one pocket space left. Reserved for the coelacanth. That ain't it. Oh, coelacanth. Another little tiny crap fish here. If I could scare it away, that'd be swell. Come closer. There we go. There's a big fishy. See, it's one of those situations also where, like, you see a big fish, and, like, it, at least in my mind, I'm just like, ooh, that one looks bigger than the rest. And then it never actually turns out to be. But I tell myself when I first see it, I'm just like, ooh, that one looks... That's a big boy. And then it's like... Not... It proves not to be, pretty quickly. Uh, there we go. Caught it. That took way too long to be a sea bass, okay? It kept going around in circles, and I was like, oh, could it be? And the answer was no, it could not be. Get out of here, little dumb fish. You know what I'm after. Well, I'll take one more lap, and then I'll call it quits. It's uh, disappointment, blistering disappointment, no coelacanth today. But again, it wasn't all for naught. Oh, uh, what do you want? I'm looking for something. You know, you and I should get matching outfits and walk around town, slacker. That was all you had to say to me? Get my face! I'm doing something. Doing something relatively important. 
for the cultural development of Domoberg. Gotta catch that rare coelacanth. It ain't here. Okay. Well. It was a failure of a fishing trip today. Didn't catch the one fish that we set out for. Uh, am I going the wrong direction? Where's this? Yeah, where's this freaking... Bridgey bridge. I have one fossil too, right? Oops. So let's cash in this fossil quick. Step one, let's cash in the fossil. Step two, let's go sell all these garbage fish. Ah, oh, crap. They're gonna be like, you can't donate this until you have it appraised. Please do. I was gonna say, it better not be like, take it back until you get it appraised. Would you like me to appraise it now? The T-Rex skull. Ooh, boy. Oh, okay, cool. So it is new, and if you donate it, rather than hitting the appraise fossil button, if you go straight to donation, he automatically assumes that you're going to, and he cuts out some of the dialogue. So I'll keep that in mind for the future. For future reference. Alright, so now we're gonna run uptown. Dr. Shrunk, my lad. Give me some monies, Nook. I wanna sell. Give me your monies. Selling this. Just got a bunch of frickin' horse mackerel. A sand dollar. A red snapper, which is the only thing of any value in this pocket right now. Uh, some dumb sea bass. You have a tire. And a crappy fit, uh, shell. And call it a day. Give me... Ooh, 3,930 bells. We have a deal, sir. 4,736 bells total, which means I'm going to run back and make a, uh, a modest payment to my mortgage. I could pay off another 4,000 bells here. I haven't seen a UFO in several episodes, and that's disappointing too. Especially since I dedicated an entire episode, like, last week or two weeks ago, uh, to UFO hunting. Alright, what are we down to, 92? The remaining bell balance is 92,000 bells. Thanks for your payment. All right, that's it. So, that's where we'll sign off this week here in uh, Animal Crossing Wild World on the Nintendo DS. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell for notifications uh, when I do live streams here on the channel, and obviously when I upload and premiere new video content such as this here in Animal Crossing Wild World on the Nintendo DS. Uh, make sure to smash that like button for me here on this video. Shrunk is creeping outside of my house. And uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, yeah, I'm the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching. Cockroaches in my house. Can't get them. Oh my god. Okay, got one. 
sure there'll be plenty more. I'm just literally running in circles. Okay, got that one. <laughs> They're so elusive in this game, dude. Okay, last one. We got it. 